Hi everyone, Susan here. Let's continue the vlogs. want to kind of reiterate that my Patreon account is live. It's up and running. I'm waiting for you guys to sign up so I can teach you everything from draping to problem solving to motivation. All right. Okay, a quick review what the Patreon account is for, for you guys. Um, it is a low subscription based format. It's my other format where I can teach you specific things and I've chose to teach the classic draping on tier one for a fee and then on the second tier I'm teaching, um, I'm going to be answering a question or problem solving with you guys when you get to uh, ask me a question and I pick one question a month or one problem a month and I solve it at a video format for you guys. I had Dina reach out to me by email a few months ago and she was asking me to take the one dart bodice sloper and front and back and the two dart skirt sloper and convert this slopers into a torso sloper to make dresses and blouses and other, and maybe even coats. It is a very essential uh, tool that you need in fashion design, and I'm only gonna have it on my Patreon account. So click the link below, check out my Patreon account, check out the videos that are there. You can subscribe, you can unsubscribe. It's a very easy format to be involved with. And now we're gonna get to the vlog, and that's what's next. All right. All right, I want to start by showing you the sketch again. We did the sketch in the last uh, three vlogs, um, so it's a little bit more detailed. I'm going to be doing the understructure underneath this portion here and this portion here. And I've decided to make that in the sheer stretch. So the garment will have a little bit of sheerness in this area right here with the, you know, with the lining and with the boning. Okay, let's get on the mannequin now and get it done. Okay, I've decided to put the black tape on these style lines because it's really hard to see with the lighting and, and all of that. So I'm taking my adhesive tape and I'm going to be going to every one of these style lines and um, putting the black tape there so that I can see through the muslin the next step. Alright, so I'm just going to do that and pin a few of them in like that. It's adhesive so you don't really have to put too many pins. I'm going to go ahead and do all the lines and I'll be right back. So let's get this draped now. I also lowered this a little bit because it takes up space once you pin it together. So I want to make sure I'm not, it's not too short waisted. So I kind of dotted that with the red marker. Okay, now I'm going to take the piece and each panel we're going to have to drape uh, like a princess seam type of a bodice. I prepared the muslin already. If you want to know that, you go to the very first videos and I show you how I did that. And they're blocked and ready. And then I have a grain line or a straight line put in the center. That's my grain line for each piece. So I'm going to go ahead and put that grain line in between the two sections like that real quickly and just kind of pin it down like that all the way to the waistline and then now I'm going to mold it over to the seams. If it needs to be clipped um, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to pin outside of the, the style line. This line has does not have the black tape so I'm going to have to peek on that one. But this side has the black tape, so you can see the, the black right underneath the muslin. Okay, so I'm going to just put pins like this, taunt, because I want it to be like a corset, so you want it to be pretty tight. And then I'm going to just clip. Let's get some of this out of here. I'm going to clip here a little bit. I'm going to clip here a little bit. It's too much there. And then also where it's pulling over here, I'm just going to clip a tiny bit like that. Now that I have it smooth, I'm going to take my number two pencil and I'm going to just do the cross mark. So the cross mark is right here where that intersection, I'm going to put a cross mark there. And because I can't, I don't have the black tape there and, and I'm wearing glasses, by the way, having some eye issues, let me know what you think of them. Um, and I'm just going to dot and peek. So I'm going to take the muslin and just literally look underneath or try to see it through there like that. Just gonna dot the style line. This is the style line all the way down. 
I want to be able to see. So here is the intersection down there where that style line is. And then I'm going to dot underneath the waste tape like that. Intersection over here, dot all the way up. Now I can see that, that black line underneath. I'm going to go all the way up. It has to meet this intersection of this princess seam. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to have to dot underneath the um, actual bodice part there. All right, I'm going to take that off like that. And I'm going to mark this so I don't get them confused. This was one. I'm going to mark a little two here. I'm going to put that down. We'll get to the second por portion. So now I have another piece prepared. And I'm going to put the, the straight line or the grain line in between and continue to do this all the way through this little section. I'm going to go above. I'm going to take that one off. Okay, so that's three. And then we're going to get to four. So one, two, three. So we're going to do this section here. And I'm going to put it again, the prepared muslin, the straight line in between the two lines. And I'm just going to make it go taunt. Like I said, this is a formed area. So it's going to want to be clipped. Again, I'm just going to continue to do this all the way along. I'm now at the side seam and I actually put the black tape there as well just so I can get a better indication of my side seam because I the lighting is hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and clip underneath here to release. to the back, we're going to do this section, putting the grain line in the center of that space. I hope this is making sense. Um, this is I'm doing this a little quick, actually, uh, but um, I, you know, repetition is key for you to learn. And I'm like I said, I've just, there's no prep work. I just am doing this as I think about what the next step will be. And you guys get to see all of that within putting a taunt with all the four corners. I'm going to clip and release at the waistline. You never want to go above that tape or through that tape because you will damage your actual fit. I'm going to clip on this side as well and this side as well, just so I have a nice smoothed area. So we had one, two, three, four, five, and then we have six here, and this will be six. It's a tiny little space. I do want to still do it because I want to put as much boning in the back as possible. I'm going to put it in between that little section. You can see it, and I'm going to put the pins in the center line, keeping that straight in between the section itself. And I just keep it taut. Continue on, I'm going to go ahead and make the cross marks here, which is where that intersection is right there. And then I'm going to dot along the black tape, as you can see. 
I'm going to take the pins out so I can really fold it back um, for the back seam. There will not be boning here in the center back. So I'm just going to put the center back straight grain like that for the last piece. I'm going to pin it down like that. All right. And here we go here as well. And then I'm going to clip wherever it needs to be clipped, like that. And then I'm just going to dot underneath that seam as well. So that's the back waist, dot, dot, dot. Here. Okay, now let's get on the flat and correct this and pin it together. All right, we're almost done with this section. Hey guys! Continue on to vlog seven, where I'm going to true everything on the flat, pin it together and get it back on the dress form. We're going to keep going till this is done. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now and like this page if you like it. Share it with your friends. Keep watching. See you in the next vlog. Thank you. like this. Okay, if it needs clipping, we're going to do our clipping. Okay, here and here, and then over here as well. Okay.